we are still on transfusion medicine or blood bank. Last week, we talked about genetic makeup, genotype, and phenotype of ABO blood groups already. Today, focus is on discrepancy in the forward typing. I will also include timestamp in the description box down below so you can refer to it anytime. Without further ado, let us all click the like button, share, subscribe, and don't forget to click the notification bell. A discrepancy exists when the results of a red blood cell test and the serum test do not agree with each other. This can cause from either an expected positive or an expected negative. One thing to not overlook when approaching ABO discrepancy is technical error. Technical error include things like labeling error, forget to add reagents or wrong reagents added to the test tube, Cell suspension is either too thick or too light. Expired reagents, contaminated reagents, or equipment failure such as uncorroborated centrifuge. Sometimes we can be too excited to solve the mystery of discrepancy and forget to double check every step of the way. This can lead to more headache than it needs to be. Now, if you already double checking everything, and can positively rule out technical error, we can take a look at what else can cause the disagreement between forward and reward typing. There are different ways to categorize the discrepancy, but I like to group them into two groups, red blood cells problems and the serums or plasma problem. The red blood cells problem is when weaker reacting due to missing antigens, or having an unexpected reacting due to extra antigens or having mixed field reactions. The serum problem is also when weaker reactions or missing reactions but due to missing antibodies or having an unexpected reactions due to extra antibodies. If you keep these two things straight, then you will have an easier time understanding this concept. Antigens on red blood cells antibodies in serums or plasma. Let's start with red blood cells problem. Red blood cells problem is when the red blood cells give an unexpected result. This can happen for many reasons. First, weak ABO expressions. Some diseases like leukemia can also lead to a weaker expression of red blood cells antigen. This is why patient's history is very important. Second, Mixed few agglutinations. As the name suggests, there are the mixture of two populations of cells. This see in patients who has been recently transfused. There are agglutinations and there are some free floating cells. This becomes more obvious when exam under microscope. Most of the time, we can see this when a non-group O person has been transfused with group O RBC. This can be solved by asking patient transfusion history. We generally ask if the patient has been transfused within the past 3 months. Why 3 months? It's because red blood cells have lifespan of 3 months. We can also see this in bone marrow and stem cell transplant patients. Third, thick cell suspensions. Thick cell suspension can neutralize anti-A and anti-B typing reagents. We can solve this by making a new cell suspension and making sure that the cell suspension is about 3%. A quick and easy reference is by looking at the A1 cell bottle. You can mix the A1 cell bottle to a homogeneous mixture. That mixture is about 3% cell suspension. So compare the two solutions and make sure that it is about the same concentrations before using your cell suspension for ABO typing. Fourth, acquire B. Oh, this is a fun topic. An acquire B phenotype is when an individual is actually group A, more specifically group A1, and currently typed as B blood type. This happened in patients with gastrointestinal bacterial infections the acquire B phenotype shows strong agglutination with anti-A 
and weak agglutination with monoclonal anti B. Solve this problem by retyping using acidified human anti B. Acidified human anti B does not react with acquired B antigens. Also, test the patient's serum with their own red blood cells because the patient's own anti B will not react with the acquired B antigens on their own red blood cells. If you want to know more about acquired B, please feel free to let me know in the comment down below. Fifth, Lulo. Lulo is a condition that makes the red blood cells become very sticky because the extra protein in the serums. The red blood cells stick to each other in a stack like often referred to as a stack of coils. To solve this problem, wash the red blood cells, then repeat the test. Six, warren jelly. Warren jelly come from connective tissues and can be found in cord blood. So when we perform ABO typing using cord blood, we should wash the cell first to avoid interference from warren jelly. Warren jelly cause fault positive. Besides washing the red blood cells before performing the test, we can also request for a heel stick. Thank you for staying with me until the end. What do you want to know next? Do you want to know more about blood bank, chemistry, or microbiology? If you have any burning questions, please feel free to leave me a comment down below. Lastly, if you have not done so, please like, share, subscribe, and click that notification bell. I will see you in the next episode of Blood Talk. Happy learning, my fellow blood bankers. As always, remember, your blood tells you the story of your health. Thanks for watching. Bye.